Happy New Year, Aquarians. This is the year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Oh, let's go in and see what is coming up for you, Aquarian. So this is the extended reading. Um, the free readings are out. This is the extended reading. So I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. And thank you for all the support that you have been giving me for the last year. Thank you for becoming a VIP. I see a lot of people change um, subscription in order to become a VIP. So that is just so powerful. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the program. So what is happening and transpiring for you, Aquarians? We see the two of pentacles uh, in the month of January. Okay, so go back and listen um, to your um, third quarter to see what is coming up in the month of January. Um, we are going to be going through um, detail by detail and we're going to be looking at every month um, in detail. So what is transpiring? So when we have the energy of the two of pentacles in reverse is that some sort of a situation is going to be coming up where you have to make some sort of a decision. And that is going to be coming up in the month of January. And um, after this, I will do a, a really braid overall energy. So, or maybe I should do that and then do the extended. So to introduce, January is going to be the energy of the two of pentacles in reverse, where you have to make some sort of a financial um, decision. In February, you're dealing with a corporation institution. This is an urge energy that you're going to be having in the month of February. Now, what is happening and transpiring is that this corporation institution, and if you notice, is a mixture of major arcana, major arcana and uh, minor arcana. So uh, we see that some of you are going to be dealing with a bank or financial institution. So some of you could be changing your bank or financial institution in the first three months. Because if you notice, uh, we have the two of pentacles, we have the energy of the Erethant, and we have the nine of uh, pentacles. So there is some sort of a situation that is going on with a whole lot of money. And they're going to be finding out that a whole lot of money was stolen by a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man. And they're going to be finding out the lies and deception of this man. And they're going to be offering you some sort of a resolution to the situation. Okay. So um, what we're seeing is that definitely um, you can see this energy is showing up that uh, a bank or financial institution is going to be finding out and some sort of a deceptive play of a bank manager or a manager or someone that you um, do your financial situation with, uh, how they have created lies and deception. It is all going to be coming out, but they're going to be um, returning this money and offering a resolution to the situation. Okay. As we look at the overcoupling and the, um, the overcoupling and the crowning of uh, this year for you guys uh, is um, a corporation institution. And this is looking like bank and financial institution. OK, some sort of a new start is going to be coming in. We see the moose um, and the voice. The moose and the voice is some sort of an investigation. And this is really some sort of a deceptive um bank and financial institution, some sort of a, because if you notice the elephant um, is going to bring in some sort of a news, the ace of a pentacle, news about money is coming from a bank or a, a organization or a, um, some sort of a money could be coming in, it could be air finesse for some of you. Um, and uh, um, I see um, some sort of a, it could be some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a money from the government can be also the voices can come up as government and as a organization institution. And they're going to be investigating where did the money go? And they're going to be finding out uh, um, that a fire sign man has created some sort of a problem um, and has took some sort of someone um, business affair. There's, there's problem with either your boss that is going to be coming up for a lot of you. Maybe it's your father that has passed away and leave an air finesse. So a lot is going to be coming up that has to be do with insurance payout, um, some sort of unexpected payout of money, um, that should have come into your Aquarians uh, that did not come in. And they're going to be investigate where did this money go? And they're going to be finding out, uh, um, cause that is under your foundation that uh, the seven of swords uh, 
together with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man that has lied and took money. It is, and and uh, they are going to be investigating where did this money go, okay? So I see you standing your ground against uh, a fire sign man and is really vocally letting people know of this man and what this man has uh, done. So as you see, the crowning of the year 2020 is going to be doing with uh, the changes in financial institution and in your materialistic stability. So you're talking about bank. So you could be having a mortgage. You could be paying off your mortgage. You could be paying off your, uh, your car. You could be, um, uh, some of you could be paying off or some of you could be having a new store, buying a new car, buying a new, um, real estate property and that sort of a thing. So you're going to be dealing with, um, these huge financial institution. But, um, the, the flip side of it is that some of you are going to be standing your ground against an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person who had lied and took money that wasn't theirs. And I see that this money is going to be returned to you. Okay. Duality is the name of the game that is transpiring for a lot of you because what is happening and transpiring here, there is a huge sense of a duality um, that is going to be coming in. A really, really huge sense of duality because what is happening and transpiring is that you are realizing um, the, the issues and problems that is going to be coming up in this year and it's going to be absolutely um on a, a realistic to what was uh, um affecting you the year before so news about inspiration so we have the page of emotion so a lot of you um could be getting pregnant so be aware of this uh, it is a year where a lot of you could be getting pregnant or whether this is happening and transpiring i see a lot of you are going to be finding out that you're pregnant a lot of you business association is going to be here. Um, there is going to be some sort of a new sense of a business um, situation that is going to be transpiring and this is going to be good. Um, so I see um, this sort of a stability is going to be coming in. Um, then we see changes with kids. A lot of you could be sending your kids to private school or finding out ways and means to pay for your kids. So, um uh, um, stability and that sort of a thing and this is going to be good then um, we have the nine of inspiration so I see a lot of you are going to be protecting your heart but you're also going to be protecting your kids whatever is happening and transpiring I see a lot of this is going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring where a lot of you are trying to protect your heart but also is protecting your kids in whatever that is going on so for people who don't have kids, you're going to be protecting your heart. For people who do have kids, you're going to be protecting yourself in whatever that has been happening and transpiring. And this is going to be just absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So, so it is a year where love and the healing, new love could be coming in. A lot of people, if you're doing anything with social media and that sort of a thing, you could be making a lot of money because people are loving what you're doing. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Then we see a lot of you, as you come to the second half of the year, you are protecting yourself. And this is absolutely wonderful because what is transpiring is that um, you are realizing, especially you men, 50 years and older, are realizing some sort of a deceptiveness of a fire sign man. So it could be your brother, or it could be your business partner, or it could be a, a friend who have created some sort of an issue and problem for a lot of you. And what you're doing is basically protecting yourself from this uh, deceptive play that was happening and transpiring. So... I see a whole lot of you men, 50 years and older, could be having some sort of an issue with a fire sign person where you find out that a fire sign person, this could be um, either a business partner or a brother or some sort of a, um, a business association where there is a lot of problems that you're dealing and you're standing your ground and protecting your materialistic stability and you're finding out uh, that there was some sort of a disturbance, uh, um, deceptive play that was created in your world. 
but at the end of the day for the business people and the older men i see that they're going to be returning whatever that has been stolen from you and is going to be resolving some sort of a problem issues and situation that was created so this is absolutely wonderful it's going to be really really a wonderful year so um the overall energy of this year is that the page emotion um some sort of an emotional situation the heart chakra could be healing and the arc chakra could be opening and i see a lot of you are going to be protecting your kids and your heart chakra so it is a here where you're really creating wonderful alignments of energy for you and also creating ma um, manifest uh, manifesting a whole lot of money in your world and this is going to be absolutely fabulous whoever had some sort of an issue with bank financial institution i see um you're going to be resolving this and resolving this in a very very positive way so let's look at the month um so a lot of you um are going to be dealing with father figures a fire sign person an aries leo or sagittarius and you're going to be standing your ground either protecting this person or either standing your ground um it could be your boss um but whoever this fire sign man is, it, um, I see that this fire sign man is uh, um, going to be standing strong. And I see a lot of you are going to be dealing with uh, um, this fire sign person. So you're going to be finding out that this person has not spoken the truth. So some of you would say Aries. Uh, some of you um, who are connected with a businessman that is an Aries, a lot of you are going to be finding out that this man has not spoken the truth. A lot of you, I see a Sagittarian man is going to be helping you out uh, to resolve some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue that was created around you. And people are going to be um, realizing that people had taken advantage of some of you and there was some sort of an imbalance that is going to come up. So duality, number two, duality is going to be the name of the game. And I see a lot of you standing your grounds against some dishonest information and the worries is going to be over for some of you. So if some of you had some sort of a worries over um, a mortgage or some sort of an investment or some sort of a lending that you wanted, um, not to worry because this is going to be resolved because they're going to be the company or institution is going to be seen that a fire sign person had created a whole lot of deceptiveness and they're going to be um you know helping you to resolve the situation in this year as you get out of this year um it is going to be happening so you have two you have nine you have a lot of message of love that is going to have coming in and you have um twice you with this duality so a lot of you are going to be working with the air energy listening to your own intuition and guidance some of you if your father or your husband is a um uh, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, um, 50 years and older. I see this is coming up. Fire sign people. I see this is also coming up that you're dealing, um, with the Leo men. Um, a lot of you are going to be, they're going to be finding out that a Leo man as a, a Leo man had lied and created some sort of a horrible deceptive play. And I see truth is going to be coming out. This Leo man is very, very deceptive. So if you, be aware of a Leo man coming up in this year. A Leo businessman um, doesn't speak the truth and is a very deceptive person. And the truth is all going to be coming out in this year. So as we look at January, we have the energy of the two of pentacles. Then we look at February, you're dealing with a corporation institution. This is, could be your work or some sort of a bank, um, financial institutes and investment companies. That sort of a situation is going to be coming up because so I see in the month of March, it could be taxes. So they're going to be paying you back a whole lot of taxes. Um, and if you're, you have a tax person that is a Leo person, this person is going to create some sort of an issue. Um, that is going to be showing up because they're going to be realizing that this person has stolen and, um, took money from, um, a lot of you in taxes or via taxes, pretending to be a tax person or that sort of a thing. And they're going to be holding on to this person. And a lot of you Aquarian is going to be getting back a lot of money because they realize that this person have not done your taxes properly in years to, uh, before, and they're going to be realizing this. So the first three months is going to be going about 
and dealing with financial institution that has to do with a whole lot of money that could be coming back to you because it's in the upright position or that they're going to be finding out that an Aries Leo, this is a Leo man, has stolen a lot of money for you under your name. Um, some sort of, uh, um, it could be um, a tax person who has done it or um, it could be someone that has used your information. So they're going to be realizing that. And this one is going to be coming back to you guys. So this is going to be good. So the first three months is about, it could be work. So some of you could be having new, but for work, go and check out the work side of this channel. Um, the link is below. So you will know what is work, but in your personal life, you're going to be dealing with these issues and making decision about some sort of a financial institution. So that was the first uh, um, quarter of the year. As we look at the second quarter of the year, we're looking at April, May, and June. Now, in the month of uh, May, some of you could be receiving some sort of a money, unexpected money coming back, and that is going to be good. Then we are looking at um, June, no, April. Uh, April, you're going to be receiving some sort of a money coming back. So it's always time of payout of taxes. Um, May, um, some sort of an emotional situation. Some of you could be delivering a baby in May or some sort of a situation is going to be coming up with your home. So be aware of this and be on your part, um, as to what is coming up. There could be surgery, but it's going to be good. Okay. So for women, uh, some of you are going to be protecting your heart from a fire sign man. Um, some of you could be getting divorced from this fire sign man, or some of you could be giving your heart to, to a fire sign man. So be aware of what is happening because I see the institution. So it could be a divorce or you could be um, um, taking the knot or going to the next level, buying a house with a fire sign person, whoever this person is, and try to balance out some sort of a situation. In the month of June, I see you're standing your ground. And what it is you're standing your ground, um, you're standing your ground and protecting your financial stability. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you are standing your ground and protecting your financial stability um, from your partner or from your father or from a friend or from um, a brother. You're really standing your ground and you're as if... Uh, I need um, to receive what what was there for me. So a lot of you are going to be standing your ground and protecting your financial situation when it comes up to June. And you're going to be letting people know, hey, um, this is not a game. This is my life. This is my life works. And you're going to be standing your ground. And this is going to be absolutely fab. Then um, this three months is about... Uh, um, money coming back, money, but yet still love because it's new start with your materialistic. So some of you could be changing jobs in April. Um, in May, a lot of you could be on the market. Love is coming in, looking for love. It's going to be good. Um, then I see whatever is transpiring in June. A lot of you could be changing job and getting some sort of a promotion but unexpected money is going to be coming in in june and you're going to be protecting that with all um your hearts okay so that is the first uh, six months of the year which is absolutely fab 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 you don't have to be worried about what is happening and transpire you aquarians the first half of the year is looking real good you have only one reverse cards and that decision is going to be easy to make um it could be buying a car it could be some sort of a lending that you want to extend on your house buy a new property buy something new change apartment complex however the money is going to be there for you to do it so the first half of the year is looking absolutely fab 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 darlings enjoy we're moving on till the second half of the year and we're going to be looking at july july is going to be affecting uh the really affecting um people 50 years and older or 45 years and older july is going to be the month that is going to be affecting um you men and if you're a business person go check out the business channel i see some sort of a situation with um bank 
and your financial stability okay so july is going to be the time when a lot of you people 45 years and older maybe you're going on pension that sort of a thing you're finding out that your pension was not paid all these years and a whole lot of issues and problems is going to be coming up some of you are going to be realizing oh i have to um, work longer because my pension wasn't paid and a lot of issue and I, I see you're going to be suing this corporation and institution so especially people who were working at a corporation institution for a very long time you're going to be finding out that your pension was never paid and I see you're going to be really suing this corporation institution so they are going to be helping you to resolve this problem and it is going to be absolutely absolutely fab 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 so July is going to be about communication and I see um, you Aquarians is going to be using the, the sword of truth to get true and let people be aware of what was happening, what was transpiring and let people um, be on top of their games knowing what is transpiring and what was happening and that a lot of people were um, cheated out of their pension or their 401k or um, whatever that you as a, say for um, your older days so, and you're going to be uh, helping people to resolve that you some of you could be uh, setting up some sort of a um, institution or some sort of a group in order to help other people that this had transpired against okay so this is going to be happening then when we look at um august august is a powerful powerful um month and uh what is going to be transpiring in August is that some of you could be receiving some sort of a help that is going to be coming in in order to give you long term stability. And this is going to be powerful. And what I realize with a lot of you, your readings is based on uh, basically you working on issues for yourself and not having people. The only two people you have to deal with is some of you who are dealing um, with yourself so older men men 45 years and older and a fire sign person so i see august you guys are standing up and protecting yourself protecting your kids protecting your money and financial situation showing up uh, the truth about a fire sign person and that this fire sign person has been deceptive and has been deceiving a lot of people and for the people that keep on saying, oh, um, all your readings is about deception. What, um, because I read and I give the message. I channel, because I don't read. I channel and give the message. A lot of people are saying, oh, she's always talking about deception. Okay. In life and, um, in your everyday life, there's a lot of people who are not honest and a lot of people who deceive other people. Um, if you don't want to hear about it, you can choose another channel. But this is where if you want to get um, the honesty, this is where you need to be. And Aquarians, this is why I love you guys, because you guys just want to cut through. And this is why I love all the air sign. You just want to cut through. You're, you don't want to be hidden. You don't want the truth to be hidden from you. And I want to say to my all you Aquarians, thank you so much for being such a support to my channel. So, such, uh, um, Aquarians, you're going to be standing your ground and protecting all, um, and protecting yourself against a fire sign man and, um, an Aries Lee or Sagittarius person, 45 years and older, and what this person has done and what this person has created. Okay. So, you're going to be really, really, ooh, protecting yourself, um, from this person. Then we are um, basically now looking at uh, um, um, the month of uh, September. Um, so the month of September, there is some sort of an issue that some of you are going to be dealing with where in the month of September, you're going to be finding out that a Leo man has not spoken the truth. And now the truth is going to be coming out because they're going to be finding out so if you're connected to a Leo man or an Aries Leo or a fire sign person, you're going to be realizing that this person is not speaking the truth. It could be your husband. It could be your brother. It could be a family member. It could be your father. 
whoever this masculine person is is 45 years and older could be your boss and they are not going to be speaking the truth and i see you're going to be standing your ground aquarium and cutting through the bs and show up this person for the deceptive play that they have done and how they have affected your life in a really horrible way that could have cost you a lot Okay, and you're going to be standing your ground against this person and is saying, no, 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 this is how it is. And you're going to be speaking your truth and speaking up. And I see that this is going to be absolutely fabulous because what is transpiring is that people are going to be realizing and understanding and you're going to be protecting yourself, but also protecting your financial stability because it has something to do with either um someone who you took on to, 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 to do some sort of a high professional job. And they, you're going to be seeing that this person tried to, um, um, try to, uh, to take advantage of you. And you're going to be standing your ground and said, no, 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 no. This is not how it is. And this is not how it's going to be. And you're going to be really, really standing your ground and is going to be creating and letting people understand um don't play these deceptive games with me because i am really on top of my games and i know exactly um what was happening and transpiring so i see that this year is like you aquarians are going to be saying listen um life is full of surprises but uh, um all these surprises and all this situation that is transpiring i'm letting you know that I am not going to be used as a pawn in the game and that people think that they can walk over me. And you're like, life is full of surprises. I have no time um, for this play. And it is going to be so good because I see that you are going to be, this year is going to be a blessing um, for you. But it is a, a blessing in such a way that you are realizing um, how you're going to be creating your own wealth. So the energy of the two of uh, um, materials, it is uh, powerful. It's about juggling, making a responsibility, finding balance, but also centering yourself and grounding yourself. Okay, you're going to be having a lot to do into this year. It's going to be a uh, um, a multiple priority year financial decision is going to be coming up in this year. Imagine it managing your own resources is going to be coming up in this year and staying afloat, feeling overwhelmed, but also change and uh, flexibility. So this is going to be a really, really wonderful year where you're going to be uh, juggling a lot of multiple business and that sort of a thing could be coming up for some of you that you're working but also have your own business and this is going to be pushing you in a really comfortable and powerful place because when you finish this year it's going to be you teaching yourself that you have a change and make changes for yourself okay so this year is going to be teaching a lot of you how do i carry all of these um money because you're going to be creating and manifesting a whole lot of money in this year um and then you it's going to be also teaching you roles where your heart is going to be there because you could be meeting someone and how do you juggle you know different different things at the same time and take risks but yet still come out being that millionaire that you want it to be okay so this is going to be powerful Alrighty, let's uh, look at uh, um, the last uh, three months of the year. The last three months of the year, you are dealing in the month of uh, October with uh, the heart energy. And the heart energy is about your money. It's about financial institution. It's about banks, uh, corporation. It's about success. It's about celebrating. Um, but you're going to be finding out some sort of a deceptiveness over a lot of money in a bank and financial institution in the month of uh, um, October. 
and November. So um, November is where truth is going to be coming out, okay? November is where you're going to be finding out that people has not been speaking the truth and now it is coming up. November is when your worries is going to be over and in the month of December, they're going to be offering you something new and saying, you know, we apologize for what has transpired and happened. We have now realized what was going on. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because you're leaving the year um, 2021 really peaceful and really realizing that uh, um, if you never stand your ground in order to create this wonderful alignment of energy, you would have never realized uh, what was coming in, what was transpiring, and what was affecting you. And, uh, you know, having a hurt sign in October and November, you have your own positive energy is going to be absolutely fabulous. Then when we look at December, December is where a whole lot of you, if you're thinking about changing jobs or buying a new car, buying a new property, um, changing residence, it's going to be good because the offer is going to be coming in and you're going to be taking this offer and whatever you're open for, it is going to be coming in because it's about the two, the, the inspiration, two of inspiration. It's about you, um, seeking new parts for yourself, moving past your comfort zone and activating the potential that you have in you, desiring new experience, traveling, adventures, home and family, a heart full of ideas and a twist for expression and manifestation. So it is really about dreamy compensation, but it is going to be absolutely, absolutely positive. So you're going to be leaving 2021, opening um, a gateway for yourself and showing up for yourself. And this is going to be good because you come in juggling and taking the risk and uh, being flexible and you're leaving this year on an absolutely positive, um, fantastic uh, direction where you're going to be opening up so many doors, so many situations is going to be coming up where you're opening up and you're showing up what has been happening, what has been transpiring and life is going to be shifting in such a powerful way. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know of your numbers and which months are going to be good. First, I will give the numbers to, um, and if these numbers are your unlucky number, do not use them. Okay. So you have to go and find out what is your lucky number. What is your unlucky number? We have the number two. Okay. The number two is a powerful, powerful alignment of energy. Um, number two and number nine. But the number nine that is coming up is three times nine. Nine of pentacles. Um, nine, you're protecting yourself. And nine in reverse that your worries is going to be over. And this is true because you're going to be in November is when your worries are going to be finally over. And this is when you're going to be flying. You're going to be taking um, that stairway to heaven and you're going to be in your own frequency, in your own zone. And this is just going to be powerful. So you have two and nine. Now, whenever three times nine comes up in a reading, um, it is someone is going to be leaving your life and it is a fire sign person. Okay. So you could find out that an Aries Lee or Sagittarius man, um, 45 years and older was not honest. Uh, and it is coming up as a Leo. This person is going to be removed out of your life or out of your existence. So it could be your boss. It could be your father. It could be your husband. Some sort of a dis deceptive situation is going to be happening and transpiring. Okay. So two and nine, um, is major for a lot of you because it's a lot of you are going to be seen behind the, the veil of illusion and it's going to be realizing that people has not been so honest that you thought they were. And it's like moving through this veil and being aware and realizing that this person has been sucking you dry for a very long time and was not aware of it and about time. So November is when um, the current is going to be coming after the storm and December you are going to be peacefully creating for yourself and opening up new doors of stability for yourself. Love is here. I love is here. Love is open. Um, men, 
uh, four to five years and older that it was looking for love. Love is here. A lot of you men um, that was having some sort of a issue, love is going to be returned. Um, um, men, four to five years and older also, this year is going to be a lucky year for you and your business. If you decide to create any business, uh, um, it is going to be a powerful year for you men and your business because you're going to be aligning yourself in such a powerful way, bringing in so much powerful energy. So this is going to be so wonderful. So ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, in order to see this, uh, Oh, your best month. Let's look at your best month. So we, we are seeing, um, um, February, March, um, is going to be your best month. February, March is going to be your best month. Then we have the energy of, uh, mm, 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 mm. February, March, April is going to be a good month. So February, March, April. And then we have absolutely August. August is going to be a fab, fab, fab month for you. Um, May is going to be good, but it's about love and it's about your heart. It's about the summer beginning and uh, a lot of you are opening up your hearts. If things uh, work out, that things are going to be opening up. So that is good. So we have February, March, April, May, August, and uh, November is going to be a powerful, powerful month for a lot of you water sign people. And what is so good about uh, um, July is that uh, you um, water sign people are going to be having a lot of support in July with whatever is happening and transpiring, especially you Aquarians. So, um, so that is going to be happening. And then another powerful month to make any changes is going to be in November. And then your fab, fab, fab in December where you're ending, um, 2021 on such a powerful, powerful note. I do love you guys. If you would like to see the extended of this reading, you have to become a VIP. I think a VIP. I don't know what YouTube is going to be doing, but I would think that it's a VIP. Um, that is, yeah, to pick it up is going to be on the, the VIP. Um, I love you guys. I gotta go. I'm wishing you a wonderful year. Namaste until next time.